These days, everything seems to be up for rent, including puppies. We take a look at the pros and cons of the controversial puppy rental service. One out of every three adults age 30 and above suffers from metabolic syndrome. We take a look at the causes and preventative measures for metabolic syndrome, the hidden time bomb in our bodies. It used to be that the fate of customs confiscated items pile up in storage without ever finding use. Now they are getting second lives as beautiful gifts. Digital devices have become must-haves in our daily lives. However, all the connectivity can get too much to handle. Let's take a break from our smartphones for some digital detoxification. Korea is home to 10 million pets who have become part of our daily lives. This is a scene from a movie about a cat rental service. Now it has become reality with a rent-a-dog services causing controversy among pet lovers. This is the website of a puppy rental service. One can choose from photos of puppies posted on the board. The cost is typically about $70 for three days. What do members of the public think about such puppy rental services? 저는 반대하는 입장이고요. 당연히 강아지도 강, 모든 동물들이 생명이 있는 건데 그 렌트를 한다는 거는 말이 안 된다고 생각합니다. 애들 상처를 받고 네, 그런 것 같아서 저는 네, 찬성하지 않아요. Members of the public voice concerns about the service. How about animal protection organizations? 개 입장에서는 그한 주인 밑에서 안정적으로 그 생활해야 되는 동물이거든요. 그러니까 굉장히 무리를 중요시하고 그 다음에 그 나의 환경을 굉장히 중요시하는 동물인데도 불구하고 이 동물이 계속해서 그 대여 서비스를 통해서 굉장히 많은 다양한 환경, 다양한 주인들, 사람들 밑에서 어 정신적으로 굉장히 심각한 스트레스를 받을 수 있다라는 것이 가장 큰 문제라고 할수 있습니다. How about risk to the physical and psychological health of the rented puppies? 어리고 작고 이제 예방 접종이 안 끝난 동물들을 렌탈을 요구하는 경우가 많기 때문에 그 연령대에는 예방 접종이 끝나지 않았기 때문에 몸에 항체가 전혀 없는 상태입니다. 어 그럴 경우에는 자꾸 환경이 바뀐다든지 아니면 장난감처럼 얘를 이제 스트레스를 많이 준다든지 하면은 면역력이 떨어지면서 전염병이라든지 다른 질병이 이제 후천적으로 많이 발생하게 됩니다. We heard from the rental service about their puppy healthcare program. 진료도 받고 치료도 하고 예를 들어서 병이 났으면 그럼 뭐 주기적인 그런 어떤 정기 검사도 받고 예방 주사도 맞고 저희도 일반적인 가정집에서 기르는 개하고 똑같거든요. 강아지를 데려가 대여 가시는 분들도 어떤 환경적인 이유 때문에 대여를 해 가시는 거고 강아지하고 재밌게 놀고 하고 하는 거기 때문에 잘 보살피기 때문에 그거를 가혹행위라고 뭐 생명 경시라고 생각하진 않거든요. Next, we heard from a satisfied customer of the puppy rental service. Dog owners for about one year have been renting a dog for about two weeks. And we have been renting a dog for about two weeks. And we have been renting a dog for about two weeks. And we have been renting a dog for about two weeks. And we have been renting a dog for about two weeks. And we have been renting a dog for about two weeks. And we have been renting a dog for about two weeks. We asked why she turned to the puppy rental service. 같은 찍은 사진 같은 건 없어요. 저는 강아지 알러지가 있고 고양이 털 알러지가 있기 때문에 심하면 천시까지 와서 강아지나 동물이 너무 너무 좋은데도 불구하고 키울 수가 없는 상황이 있고 키우는 거는 굉장한 책임감이 들잖아요. 근데 이런 업체가 있어서 거기서 다 강아지에 대해서 케어를 해주고 또 제가 필요한 시간 때 그때 저랑 같이 이제 강아지가 성격만 외향적이라면은 별 문제가 없다고 생각을 해요. With opinions polarized at two extremes, the puppy rental service continues to be a controversy. An amendment to the Animal Protection Act prohibiting such rental services was recently proposed. This is an adoption center for rescued animals. People can volunteer to walk the abandoned dogs at the center. There is no shortage of volunteers who apply online, so much so that walks are conducted daily.
이런 서비스를 정말 이용하시고 싶으신 분들은 어, 동물보호단체에서 임시보호 제도라는 게 있어요. 그러니까 입양 가기 전에 임시로 이 동물들을 케어해 주시면서 어, 어떤 이 동물에 대한 성격 또 어떤 그 배변 훈련을 좀 해줘 본다라든지 이런 식으로 보조적인 굳이 입양이 아니라 보조적인 도움을 얼마든지 줄수 있고 또 동물을 경험해 볼수 있기 때문에 그런 제도를 어, 활용해 보시는 것이 좋지 않을까 생각합니다. The controversy over puppy rentals continues. Is it a realistic solution against the abandoning of animals? Or is it an expression of human selfishness and disregard for animal life? What is your take? Metabolic syndrome is like a ticking time bomb, counting down to severe lifestyle diseases. There are now 10 million Koreans suffering from metabolic syndrome. This means one out of five people in the entire nation. Let's learn about the causes and ways to prevent metabolic syndrome, which has become a looming threat to public health. Mr. Kim, who has always been confident of his health, received a rude awakening after a health checkup. He was diagnosed with metabolic syndrome. He had high blood pressure, triglyceride levels, and narrowed arteries. 심장이 나쁜 사람이 느끼는 그런 증상이 없었어요. 그리고 나서 이제 종합 검진을 받아 보니까 여 이제 여여 관상 동맥이니 뭐 경동맥이 이렇게 좀안 좋다는 소리를 들으니까 나는 쇼크가 컸죠. Metabolic syndrome is a hidden health risk suffered by one out of every three adults above the age of 30. But what does it mean to have metabolic syndrome? 네, 대사 증후군은 어, 대사 과정에 장기적으로 문제가 생기는 것이 질환을 얘기하는데 어, 이로 인해서 당뇨나 뭐 고혈압, 이상 지질 혈증, 비만 같은 이런 심혈관계 질환의 위험을 높이는 여러 가지 질환이 한 개인에서 한꺼번에 나타나는 것을 대사 증후군이라고 합니다. There are five diagnostic criteria: abdominal obesity, raised blood pressure, fasting blood sugar, and triglyceride levels, as well as lowered HDL cholesterol. Metabolic syndrome is diagnosed in the presence of three or more of these symptoms. Metabolic syndrome can cause serious complications when left untreated. This has earned us some macabre nicknames, Domino of Diseases and Quintet of Death. 네, 심근경색이나 뇌졸증 같은 이런 심혈관계 질환은 우리나라 주요 사망 원인입니다. 어, 대사증후군이 있는 경우에는 이러한 심혈관계 질환 발생 위험이 두배 이상 높고 또 당뇨병이 발생할 위험도 열배 이상 증가한다고 알려져 있습니다. 또 유방암이나 대장암 같은 각종 암 발생의 위험도 높아진다는 연구 결과도 보고되고 있습니다. The number of metabolic syndrome patients has grown by 1.4 million over the past four years, making up a total of nearly 10 million. This is almost one fifth of the entire population of Korea. Total medical cost for metabolic syndrome continues to soar each year. It was about $4.3 billion last year, constituting a $1 billion rise in just four years. Why are more and more people suffering from metabolic syndrome? It can be attributed to bad habits such as the consumption of high fat and high calorie foods, frequent drinking, and heavy smoking. Male office workers and female housewives are the two high-risk groups for metabolic syndrome. Male office workers spend most of their time seated at desks and thus lack exercise. They also drink heavily due to company dinners and high stress levels, making them 25% more susceptible to metabolic syndrome. Many housewives have irregular eating habits, while housework does not come with the benefits of exercise. Housewives were 85% more likely to suffer from metabolic syndrome than female office workers. The danger of metabolic syndrome is that it comes without detectable symptoms, making it easy to ignore. The Seoul Metropolitan Government is now operating special management centers for metabolic syndrome so as to prevent and detect the disease. Anyone between the ages of 20 and 64 can get free testing. The test includes the five items of metabolic syndrome as well as body composition. Results come out right away, making it convenient for busy people. 10분 15분면 결과가 나오더라고요. 그래서 그 수치를 보고 바로 결과 상담도 바로 진행도 되니까 편했던 것 같아요. The center employs resident healthcare professionals such as nurses, nutritionists, and exercise consultants. 
Users can get advice on diet and exercise according to test results. 평소 때 간식으로 과자를 많이 드신다고 하시니까 음. 이런 빵이나 과자나 이런 떡 같은 음식을 좀 조절해서 드시는 게 필요하실 것 같고요. 식사를 할땐 탄수화물과 기름진 음식의 섭취를 줄이는 게 좋고요. 당 섭취를 낮출 수 있는 현미밥과 어, 뭐 식이섬유가 풍부한 해조류나 야채류 섭취량을 늘려주시는 게 좋을 것 같습니다. About 7,000 people use the Dongdaemunggu Metabolic Syndrome Center yearly. The center also provides visiting consultations as well as long-term management for better prevention and treatment. Metabolic syndrome is a major lifestyle disease and the cultivation of good habits is key to its prevention. 또 대사증후군은 자각 증상 자체가 없기 때문에 정기적으로 혈압이나 혈당, 콜레스테롤 수치를 검사하는 것도 중요하겠습니다. Metabolic syndrome can ruin one's health slowly, bringing about severe complications in the long term. However, all it takes is awareness and good habits to keep its threat at bay. Big knockoff bags that imitate famous brands, replica watches, luxury items confiscated for exceeding the duty-free allowance, those that were caught being smuggled in. But now they're getting a new lease on life and are being transformed into heartwarming gifts. Some items never make it through the gate and have to part with their owners at the airport. These are illegal items that have been confiscated by customs. More than a billion U.S. dollars worth of items have been seized by customs during the past five years alone. 위조 운동화, 의류 보시는 바와 같이 이제 위조 시계 종류 등과 같이 소비자들이 진짜 그 진짜와 가짜를 구별하기 힘들 정도로 정교한 물품들이 종류도 다양하게 많이 들어오고 있는 실정입니다. Last year, 77 million dollars of smuggled items were seized. This is a 30-fold increase in four years. Due to the popularity of overseas direct purchases, the number of items being confiscated by customs has risen dramatically. Confiscated goods that aren't illegal are auctioned off. They only stay in the warehouse for a month before they are appraised by a professional, set a price, and electronically tendered. The problem is counterfeit and smuggled goods. It's illegal to sell them, so they have to be destroyed. But of course, it comes with a price. They say it costs around 270,000 US dollars a year. And the cost is covered by tax, money that comes out of our pockets. And the astronomical cost isn't the only problem. Pollution, a direct result of the disposal process, is also a major concern. 몰수 판결이 확정된 지적 재산권 침해 사범을 압수물에 대하여는 전량 폐기하는 것이 원칙이나 자원 낭비 및 환경 오염의 발생 등의 문제가 있음을 감안하여 현행 검찰 압수물 사무 규칙에는 검사가 이들 압수물에 대하여 특별 처분을 할수 있도록 규정하고 있습니다. Recently, the Korea Customs Service started a collaboration project with an NGO. They decided to take the piles of sneakers stored in their warehouse and donate them to youths in developing countries. This was the moment when the confiscated goods, which were a nuisance, turned into heartwarming gifts of love. This NGO sent sneakers to developing countries. They received donations from various organizations, but in order to receive confiscated goods from customs, they must go through a complicated process. At a glance, it looks like these stickers have been put on the sneakers for style. 보통은 이제 상표권을 가진 상표권자들이 동의하지 않는 경우가 많거든요. 동의하지 않게 되면은 보통은 그게 이제 소각장으로 가서 전량 다 소각 처리가 돼요. 저희가 이번 같은 경우는 상표권자가 좋은 일에 쓰는 거에 대해서 그 세관의 가세청에 같이 동의를 해준 부분들이 있고 그, 그렇지만 이게 조건은 그 이제 그, 그 상표가 침해받지 않도록 어떤 그 로고를 가려서 좋은 일에 쓸수 있도록 저희가 허, 허가를 해준 거고요. 10,000 of them are given a new purpose. 
They were flown over to Mongolia to cover and protect the beautiful little feet of children. Thanks to the custom office's open policy, the NGO's novel idea, and the generosity of trademark owners, these illegal goods were transformed into gifts of hope. 올해 이제 그 8월에 저희가 그 대학생들과 함께 운동화를 그 몽골에 전달할 예정인데요. 운동화뿐만이 아니라 양국 간의 어떤 그 문화 교류를 좀 확산할 수 있도록 네, 그런 부분에 대해서 저희가 노력을 어, 기울일 생각입니다. Similar things are happening in other parts of the world. These computers are donated to schools. And confiscated rice is sent over to help refugees. By law, these items should be destroyed, but many are thinking of alternate ways to use these resources instead of wasting them. Beautiful Store, a social enterprise, says it is ready to take part in donating seized items once legal issues are taken care of. Just last year, they were able to receive lost property items from a local police agency and use it as part of their donation project. 물품을 기증하는 방법도 어렵고 기증하는 양도 많지 않은데요. 어, 상표권자의 허락을 받아서 위조 상품은 기증이 가능하다. 이런 식의 법적인 테두리 안에서 좀더 슬기로운 방법이 모색이 된다면 버려지는 물품이 줄어들고 그 물건들이 좀더 필요한 곳에 의미 있게 사용될 수 있을 거라고 생각합니다. 보다 근본적으로는 이런 물품의 반입이 없어져야 되겠지만 여러 가지 사회적인 비용을 절감할 수 있는 재활용이 가능한 물품에 대해서는 기증 활동이라든가 이런 게더 활성화될 수 있도록 계속 노력해 나가겠습니다. Some take their times making counterfeit goods, but their illegal activities end up in the accumulation of confiscated goods. But thanks to innovative ideas, these items are given a new lease on life, and what would have been bad is turned into good. Digital devices with their various functions make our lives easier. But recently, taking a break from technology and going on a digital detox has become a hot topic in society. Digital devices have become a part of our lives that we can't live without. But while we were too busy enjoying the convenience of technology, have we been missing out on more important things? University student Park Soyoung says she uses her smartphone a lot. At first, she used it to find information for school assignments, but it has gradually become a habit, and she just can't put it down even when she walks or eats. Uh, SNS, Facebook, and Instagram, and Instagram. Soyoung's not alone. According to one study, more than 77% of respondents said that they check their smartphones constantly for no particular reason. 35% even said that they become anxious when they didn't have their phones with them. What's more, excessive use of smartphones not only causes mental fatigue, but physical side effects as well. Soyoung has decided to visit a counseling institute and undergo testing for smartphone addiction. First, she carefully completes a questionnaire regarding her smartphone and internet habits. 본인이 그 이것이 문제다라는 것들을 인식을 하는 것들이 제일 중요한 것 같아요. 내 생활이 이렇게 많이 좋지 않다라는 것을 이제 깨닫는 것만으로도 굉장히 이제 많은 변화들을 할수 있는 그 동기를 가지게 되고요. 그리고 실제로도 많은 변화가 일어나게 됩니다. Once she completes the questionnaire, she talks about her excessive smartphone use with a counselor through a series of games and also receives advice. 인터넷 게임이나 SNS나 이제 현실 세계보다 훨씬 더 이제 난이도가 좀더 낮다라고 볼수 있어요. 현실 세계 관계에서는 내가 원치 않는다고 해서 그 관계를 끊을 수가 없고 계속 만나고 마주치고 또 이렇게 경험을 해야 되기 때문에 그 어떻게 보면 이제 좀더 쉬운 것들을 찾다 보면 이제 인터넷이나 스마트폰을 찾게 된다라고 볼수 있죠. Studies have also shown that excessive use of smartphones has an effect on the brain. 
While using a smartphone, alpha waves associated with brain stability and relaxation decreased, while high beta waves that cause anxiety and panic attacks increased. Moreover, when researchers scanned the brain of a young smartphone addict, they found that the function of the brain that controls emotions and social interaction was drastically decreased. In order to prevent these side effects, smartphone applications that forcibly shut down phone functions have started to appear, and various digital detox methods are being tried out. The most important thing is to use the right time. It's important to use the right time. We have a study in school, it's about 1 hour in school. In junior school, it's about 2 hours in school. If you use the right time, and if you use the right time, you can use the right time to use the right time to use the right time. There's a special school for teenagers who know that they are using their digital devices too much but can't control it. Thanks to school rules which ban them from using their smartphones, students play board games and read books instead of being glued to their screens or playing computer games. Actually, the internet is a problem for kids. It's 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 a problem for kids. 초기 2, 3일 정도에는 금단 증상이 나타납니다. <웃음> 그래서 그런 걸 다양한 대안 활동이나 또 맛있는 음식들 그리고 이제 또래과의 어떤 관계, 체육 활동 그리고 자신의 마음을 읽을 수 있는 프로그램을 통해서 어, 치료하고 있는 과정이라고 보면 되겠습니다. With digital devices, these students could do things at the touch of a button. But here, they engage in physical activity and it's benefiting their health. They also get to hang out with friends their age and instead of being trapped in their own world, get to experience the enjoyment of togetherness. I don't think about phone or internet. I don't think about the activity. I 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 think about the activity. Through various programs that are available at the school, students get to have face-to-face -face conversations. They spend time getting to know themselves and others instead of hiding behind an avatar in an imaginary world. This is an important part of the development of these skills. Also, the work of friends, smart TV, internet, smart phone, and if you don't have a smartphone, I think the smartphone will be solved by the smartphone. When used well, technology and digital devices make our lives infinitely better. But when we let these devices control our lives, the consequences can be devastating. The digital detox movement was created to encourage proper use of technology. How about putting these devices down for a moment and experiencing the real world?